The Nigerian All Share Index is currently trading up by about 0.38% to around 38,121 points. Other sessions gainers are Nigerian Breweries, Forte Oil, Wando, FBNH, and Zenith Bank, while the laggards lists include Union Bank. For more on the activities on the boss, as well as some of the earnings released today, I'm now being joined live from the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange by Lai Olaleru. He's a head equity trading at Cordress Capital. Thank you for joining us, Lai. Thank you. Well, before the earnings came out just a few uh, minutes ago, I was going to tell you that uh, we've seen, although we've seen a rally, seven straight sessions of gains, but uh, the breadth of the market has been rather weak, and we've seen low volumes and low value. But now we have two results, Nigerian breweries and Sterling Bank. Did that change the mood of the market today? Yeah, thank you very much. I believe the two results that came into the market today actually changed the mood of the market. Because, uh, like you rightly mentioned, the depth and breadth of the market wasn't so fantastic yesterday. And in my own calculations, if I had the parameters together, apart from the fact that the index gain, I was expecting a slowdown in the market gain today. But as uh, against our prediction, the market is still going up. And uh, I can attribute it to the two fantastic results that came into the market today, that of Sterling Bank and Nigerian Breweries. And the two together, I think, has uh, uh, increased the expectations of investors. And we've seen about 39 business point gain as at uh, 11.40 when I last, che uh, last checked the market indices. Well, let's take a look at the numbers uh, in detail now, starting quickly, very quickly now with Nigerian breweries. 6.6% uh, increase in half-year profit after tax at 20.6 uh, billion, a profit moderated by 15% rise in operating expenses, but boosted by 61% climb in non-operating income. Now, of course, uh, I've had one or two analysts say that this growth was moderated and nothing to be excited about. Are those your sentiments also? Yeah, I, I totally agree because 6.7% uh, increase uh, is not out of this world and, and is not beyond the expectation of an average uh, uh, investor in the market. So, but uh, like I also mentioned, that a, better, a good news is better than the bad news. So we, we should still keep the hope alive. And uh, if you uh, trickle it down to seeing what uh, the return is so far to each of the shares uh, of Nigerian breweries, you discover that uh, the uh, market has actually... Uh, shown that it has gained about 54% of the same EPS it did last year. Uh, the EPS per each year is 273 Kobo. So if uh, Nigerian breweries go at this same pace through the end of the year, we can expect the marginal increase in the dividend declaration, which uh, is still a positive news. So, uh, and I think the market is uh, being fair on the stock and they've reacted positively well. I mean, currently the market is doing about 177 for Nigerian breweries and uh, that, that's not bad at all but it's not out of this world, as you rightly mentioned. Okay, let's quickly look at uh, the earnings from Sterling Bank. Perhaps you feel even better or more excited by these uh, numbers. 97% rise in second quarter profit, uh, uh, profits boosted by 70% rise in non-interest income. Is this a bank, a stock that we can keep our eyes on going forward? Yeah, I, I, I believe it's a stock that you can start recommending to your clients now. I mean, if there is one thing that will stop, uh, top my stock pick for this week, I would say Sterling Bank would make the list. I mean, looking at what uh, the result is so far, I mean, the, the PAT shows almost like a 100% jump. And uh, that basically tells you that the bad times are over for most of these banks. And even coupled with the fact that some IFRS uh, uh, provisions will be implemented this year in terms of the loan loss, because if you look at the loan expense book, uh, there was a spike in the provision, about one point something billion for the Q2. I mean, in spite of that, I mean, we still see a very fantastic bottom line. And so uh, if you want to look for a stock to keep your money in uh, pending the end of this year, I think Sterling Bank will, will come on the top of it currently. Okay, uh, Lale, uh, finally, before I let you go, I just wanted to ask one more question. I was taking a look at uh, the petroleum marketing sector and I've, my eyes uh, went to Forte Oil. This stock uh, has been gaining in the last couple of sessions. Well, yesterday's uh, best performer in, in, uh, at midday right now is still one of the best performing stocks. So is Owando. Uh, is there anything in particular, what particular sentiment is driving this stock? Uh, we saw it do perform very well in the first and second quarter of uh, this year. Is that what we're going to see uh, for going forward? Uh, as at this moment, uh, there is no specific uh, market information that we can attribute to the reason for the appreciation and the price of the stock. But I believe that there could be some strategic buyer somewhere who has been buying a large chunk and uh, 
I mean, this kind of activity would definitely lead to the appreciation in the price of the stock. I mean, this is a stock that was trading at around uh, 15, 17 naira a couple of uh, trading days ago and currently doing almost like 20 something naira. I mean, uh, as it is now, we're still searching around if there is any corporate uh, news coming from the company, but uh, I mean, we can't find one. So we believe there are some people taking good position in the stock. And if you've looked at the trading volume uh, within the past month, you would have seen FO trading at a very high volume compared to what it has been doing before. So that, that could be activities of uh, some strategic buyers, which uh, a, a lot of investors are cashing in on. But I, I will just uh, uh, give a word of caution that they should be careful of uh, what, what they put their money in if they are not sure of the news driving it.